Hello everybody, this is the second episode for how to build your own RC plane. Uh, in this episode I'll be showing you how to build the wing and how to install the electronics. And if you haven't seen the first episode, click on this link here and it'll take you to a video of that. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to my website and download the plans for the wing for the foam cup. Once you have the plans downloaded from my website, print them out and tape them together the same way you tape together the plans for the body of the foam cup. Then trace out the... cut them out and trace them out using a sharpie onto the same foam you used for the body of the foam cup. When you have the plans traced out, and you take the piece of paper off, there will be a nice clear outline as to where you need to cut. Just use a X-Acto knife and cut along the border. You will have to do this twice because you will need two halves of the wing to make a whole wing. It's also a good idea to use a piece of sandpaper to sand down the wing so they're both the same shape. You'll also need to uh, make two of these pieces here. You should have a piece of paper that looks like this left over from the last steps. And you'll want to just make two of those using the same process as we used on everything else. Now use a piece of plastic pipe and a heat gun to roll an airfoil in. The airfoil should be roughly the same shape as this, these pieces here that you cut out. And when you're done rolling it with the heat gun, glue these pieces on where it's widest. The wings. Now use a whole lot of glue and tape to glue and tape the wings together. Uh, you might want to put the wings at a bit of an angle to each other, it makes the thing fly better. And yeah, just go crazy with the tape. I've had the plane's wings break a few times and it's not fun. Now that the wings are done, hopefully you're ready to put the electronics in. I recommend you get the electronics from a hobby store in Hong Kong. I've had great experiences with them and I'll put a link in the sidebar and underneath this video on my website. The things you'll need are a propeller and a way to attach the propeller to your motor. I recommend you use a propeller adapter. You'll need a small brushless outrunner motor, well that's what I'd use at least. Uh, about 24 grams in weight will give you enough thrust. You'll also want a 2 cell battery, anything from 300 milliamps per hour to 1000 milliamps per hour. And a 10 amp speed controller to go along with your motor. You'll also need a good radio system, at least 3 channels. And 2 servos. To go along with the servos, you'll need push rods. Um, I would like to use the Parkzone T28 aileron push rods, and you'll also need control horns. You can make your own if you need to. You can make your own control horns by drilling holes in pieces of popsicle sticks, and you might also need to drill holes in the servo arms so they can fit in the push rods. You might also need to solder connectors onto the speed controller and motor. Just basically put the wire in the hole for the wire and drip some solder in there and let it cool. It's also a good idea to check the electronics before you install them. 
first plug the speed controller into the receiver. Um, the speed controller is channel 3, and you always have the black wires facing outwards. Um, rudder is on a three channel plane, the rudder is channel 1, and the elevator is channel 2. First check the motor once you plug the battery in. If it's spinning in the wrong direction, just reverse any two of the wires. Then check the rudder and elevator servos just to make sure they move. Once you have all the electronics ready, you'll want to make a motor mount. To do this, you'll first want to cut a few inches off of a disposable chopstick. Then put some hot glue on the end of it, and put the motor on the hot glue, and smooth the hot glue out using your fingers. Then use a tightenable pull cord thing uh, to hold the motor on better. Then take this leftover piece from the previous video and glue the whole motor mount onto it using hot glue. Now glue this whole setup into the front of the fuselage. Now to install the servo systems, You'll first want to put a little cut into the elevator where you want the control horn to go. Then put a little bit of hot glue on the cut. And put the control horn in the cut. Do the same thing to the rudder as well, only put it on the other side so the servos aren't on the same side. Then put some glue on the back of the servos and stick them onto the fuselage. Straighten them out so the elevator is in a neutral position. Do the same with the rudder as well. Then plug the uh, speed controller in and the motor into the speed controller and the servos into their proper locations and then plug the battery in and make sure everything's working like it should be. You'll also need to put in uh, pieces of chopsticks um, at the front just on the fuselage just after where the wing will sit and also put it on the back just behind where the wing will sit and then you can put an elastic from one of the sticks to the other stick and that'll hold the wing in place. And now your foam cub's pretty much done. I will be doing another video about how to uh, do the final tuning before flight and also on how to fly it. But other than that, you're ready to fly.